What's going on everybody? I just thought I'd give a quick video on removing a dual mass flywheel on a Cummins G56 transmission. This truck is a 5.9, but I'm pretty sure it's the same procedure for all of the G56s with the dual mass flywheel. So, let's get started. So up in uh, the passenger side of the engine, there's gonna be a plate that covers these two holes. Normally you don't need to use this, these holes unless you're dealing with a automatic transmission to get out the torque converter bolts. But on the dual mass flywheel, you have to take that plate off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts and then you can get to the bolts that hold the flywheel together. There's eight of them going around the outside of the flywheel that hold the two pieces together. Once you take those eight bolts and drop off the flywheel or the one half of the flywheel, this is what you're looking at on the back of the engine. And then you can get at these crank bolts to pull off this other ring. But when you first pull the tranny out, this is what you're looking at. And you're thinking, how in the world does that come off? But if you go in that inspection hole, you can see the bolts to pull it apart and get the rest of it off. Now the purpose of the dual mass flywheel is there's these springs in the middle and this whole plate will rotate back and forth. So when it's, when it's rotating, well not rotating, when it's shifting back and forth, those springs will take away a lot of the uh, driveline shock from shifting and letting off the throttle. Um, I guess it was a decent design, but those springs will break and then you can have a lot of chatter and then start getting slippage and stuff like that. This clutch was just worn out. Um, if I show you the back tires of the truck, you'll see why. So what we are replacing it with is this. This is a single mass flywheel in a dual disc south bend clutch. So you have your flywheel. First friction plate, separator plate, second friction disc, and the pressure plate. So South Bend's, they come with a new throwout bearing. They have an upgraded um, roller pilot bearing, so it's an actual ball bearing bearing instead of just the uh, instead of the chintzy bearing that's down in there. Comes with longer. 12.8 bolts just like it's supposed to and even comes with a new clutch fork so hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it instructional and um, yeah hope it helps you get your g56 dual mass flywheel out so don't forget to like us on Facebook follow us on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube have a good one and we'll see you on the next uh, next video